in this video i'll be talking about how to trade with fair value gap and liquidity pool if you are new to my channel first of all you're welcome in this channel we discuss everything related to the financial market and how to become a consistently profitable trader so do where to like subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we upload new video so first of all what are fair value gaps fair value gaps are those space that exist between candlesticks so take for example in a candlestick of three say candle one candle two candle three that is obviously in a bearish market condition the space that exists between the low of candle one and the high of candle three is what we refer to as fair value gap especially when we look at that low and high through the body of candle two let me make it a little bit more clear fair value gaps are that space that exists between series of candles so let's go over it you have candle one candle two candle three you have this low you have the high when you look at the body of candle two you can see that there is no interaction between the highs and lows of candle one and three respectively so that space that exists right there you call it fair value gap and what that simply means it means there is price inefficiency at that area and usually the algorithm that controls price will seek to always rebalance every fair value gap now the rebalancing is where it gets a little bit more technical and traders get carried away because when we talk about fair value gap has been rebalanced a lot of traders will think that it means the entire gap or range will be totally balanced but that is not always the case so in a typical fair value gap where you have that line as your range of the fair value gap usually if price returns to the fair value gap it will either get to the beginning of the fair value gap the midpoint or the 50 percent or it will either fill it so it can it has three possible ways of filling fair value gaps the very low of it if it's a bearish fair value gap the midpoint or the 50 percent then the entire range so price can react at any of these levels and then drop off completely now that is very simple a fair value gap is a very simple concept and it's very visual in charts for example you are staring at the monthly time frame of dollar index by the way dollar index is not a currency you trade the pair with which it's if what happens to dollar and if you have been here for a while you know how i like doing all of my analysis is from the dollar index just because gbp usd is my favorite now let's look at the fair value gap we just discussed some minutes ago you can see this area of price action you can see that area of price action and then the first thing you want to take note is that in this candle i just circled out you have the low of that candle right there and the high of the candle after it so what does that leave us it leaves us with a fair value gap in that range so that range there is an imbalance of price so what did we see price do and in the next couple of so i'm going to rule out the fair value gap which is obviously from that low right there extending time and then you have the the high of the next candle that closes the fair value gap range right there extending time now you can see clearly that was a fair value gap that price left on its way being bullish on its on price um bullish run it left that fair value gap right there now what did we see price do this is a monthly time frame this happens in every and all time frame so we see price come back all the way to that fair value gap in all this movement nicely filling it and then run to the upside usually once fair value gaps are completely filled or fair value gaps are interacted with just the way i thought about the full filling or the middle or entry or beginning filling point price will react from that level because the objective has been filled so what that leaves us is that fair value gap serves like magnet that pulls price to towards itself and that is very instrumental and important now so at the time of this recording you can clearly see and in this chart that dollar is most likely going to come back to the upside to fill a fair value gap right there and by fair value gap i mean that candles low and this candles high so extend it in time you could clearly see in this particular example of fair value gap that exists there dollar did not fill the entire range it just went up into some portion of it and it is currently palliating to the downside and that is how to interact with the market now having no understood fair value gap you are aware in this channel we have talked about several entry models and i will continue on one of the model which i call type 2 
based on liquidity all in all your job as a trader first of all is to understand market bias know where market is headed towards and then once you know where market is headed towards your next thing is now to look for an entry that will suit you so if price is bearish based on your bias you look for sell opportunities to sell with the market simple you want to say no to counter trending i have said often times that one of the easiest way for traders to lose their trading account and to mess up with your mind is counter trending so you have discovered that price is bearish what do you want to do next you want to look for sell opportunities and there are two models we have taught in this channel before now the first of them is that you are looking for a pattern like this price selling off taking that liquidity and you are selling with price to the downside or you're looking for the other pattern that price will give in a bearish market so price is selling off this way and then it does that you want to see price come take that high and then you are selling off personally these are the only two models you need to trade the liquidity and structure pattern by the way i'm going to leave again a video that talk about these two models all over this channel and all you want to do is go watch those videos and know how we talk about that so finally i want to talk about trading top-down analysis one of the things that i emphasize so much and it's killing a lot of traders is that they don't have patience to trade for the long term i want you to start thinking about your trading as an investment think of yourself as an investment as a trader and not a gambler the lower the time frame the more the noise and then you are going to be trading more frequently and the more you trade the more risk you expose yourself to so let's break down dollar a little bit so we have seen currently as i begin to wrap this up that dollar is obviously filled the fair value gap to a certain level and then we are expecting bearishness from dollar so what i want to do is to break down to the weekly time frame right and get other key points or key zones as it were so you can see from the weekly time frame dollar is doing similar stuff clearly you can see it's taking out a liquidity right here this liquidity has been taken out right and then more importantly it reacted off one of our very key blocks which we call a bearish other block in this context so i'm extending that other block down again if you have not conversant with all of these languages please do where to refer to other videos right on in our channel now you can clearly see dollar is heading south okay so what do i want to do i want to look for selling opportunity and by the way if dollar is bearish then gbp usd for example my favorite pair euro usd would be bullish so i am analyzing dollar as at the time of recording uh, this is november 17 2023 you can recommend to this date and see exactly what this means so from the long or uh, bird's eye view perspective we are seeing dollar coming down to take that low so it's going to do some reaction and going to take this this could take several months and this gives me a long-term perspective so i will only be looking for buy opportunities in my in my favorite pairs so finally let me break down to one hour time frame and then let's see if you can have an opportunity to trade this market so this is the one hour time frame what can i really see from here first of all we can see dollar as at the time of recording has broken a very nice structure to the downside now what i want to see this will i'm expecting my type 2 analysis my type 2 and that's what we explained earlier we want to see price do something like this all right that's very far off let's do that again you want to see price um what we are seeing actually happening is dollar for price doing this all right breaking the structure i want to see price come back to this level and come to the downside and that's very simple so what would i mean i want to see price or dollar take out this high right here okay for the new week and then cascade the loss so if you're watching this at the time of recording you already have an objective all right you expect that pull back to that level from based on the fact that we are coming from the weekly time frame you can see how far to the downside we are headed so i'm going to zoom right in again you can see how far to the downside we are headed and this gives you what again a long-term perspective it gives you a long-term perspective so we expect that little movement 
and then over 600 pips move to the downside imagine what you're trading for gbp usd so again your your task is simple i've talked about fair value gap and then give you a simple refresher course for the entry model and the more importantly i've told you why you should analyze from dxy and what to expect from gbp usd i'm going to build on this in our next video within the week so if you have gained some value do it to click like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one shares jay okoli signing out